to find the ultimate champion reaches a pivotal stage. These six return from past victories to compete against one another. They have shown great skill, courage and valour and rightly deserve their place on the final stage of the journey. Warriors, I welcome you back here to my kingdom. Who returns with success in their sights? And who recalls old fears and apprehensions? The raven's eye cannot foresee the future, but it can summon up the past. Kinsa returns to the quest, having previously shown great skill and courage. She maintained an almost exclusive lead over her fellow warriors. But how will she fare now that the competition has intensified? Just got our nine lives back. I think the hardest worry is going to be Dead Jam. Um, but I'm not quite sure because Lin Mass seems quite strong. Um, Mass, I think that I'm going to do really well in some of the water games. Wenra has shown great promise from the very beginning. His fearsome display with a long staff should be enough to strike fear into the hearts of any opponent. I'm really, really happy to be in the last round. I was so surprised after the last stand that um, I got through to the last round of the tournament and I'm um, just really happy about that. Strongest warriors, I think, are probably going to be Kinsa and Dejan. They're, they're probably going to do really well. And um, I think my strengths in the tournament are probably team games rather than um, individual, but I just try my hardest as usual and just see where I get. Sarla brims with confidence. He certainly has a head for heights. Is it enough to take him to the top? I'm smaller than some of them, and I think the bigger ones have got a bit of an advantage but I'll try harder this week. I'm looking forward to the climbing games. The hardest challenges this week are probably the water events. Wilja showed both bravery and determination as she plundered the depths of the dwarf mine. Will she go for gold in this final week? I'm going to try real hard to keep all of my nine lives because I want to be winning this, not going out first thing. Linma has shown both mental oh. Tongue. And physical agility. But does he really have victory in his sights? I'm extremely pleased to get this far. Um, I'm hoping to come second or third, and obviously first. Um, I've realised to become the Raven Champion Warrior, you need so many different talents, so many skills, strength, power, balance, poise, and it's the... If anyone wins this tournament, they're going to be an incredibly talented young warrior. The warrior I am most worried about is either Dejan or Kinsa. They are uh, my biggest rivals, but I'm just going to play my own game, think of my own ways to do it and my own tactics, and hopefully that will get me through. Dejan has proved he has dexterity, agility and audacity, but is he focused on the ultimate prize? It's the start of the final round of the quest and I think I'll do pretty well but not that well because they're all the best warriors and I think it's going to be a very close competition. My strengths will be things to do with like climbing and hitting and stuff. I think my hardest opponent might be Sala but I don't know because I don't know any of the others. Many challenges lie on the road ahead. More trials to tax you, and more hurdles to surmount. Each of you were granted nine lives. Protect them at all costs. Now, it is said that even a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So, let us take those first steps together. Come. I trust you remember the slippery characters who inhabit this dank dell. Snakes, of course. They slither and slide through the bones of warriors long since forgotten. In order to cross safely to the other side, you must work together. Use these plinths to avoid touching the ground, for should you do so, the snakes will overcome you. 
Atop the bone mounds are gold rings. Gather them as you race. The winning team will be rewarded with further rings at the far side of the pit. However, the losing team will sacrifice any rings gathered and a precious life. You must keep going, even if you lose a team member. Are you all ready? Then let the challenge begin. Kinsa, Dejan, you certainly work well together as a team. You trace a safe pathway through the pit and have emerged with gold rings. Place them on your standards. Remember the importance of rings, young warriors, especially at this critical stage. Collect nine and win back a life. Sarla, Wilja, Linma. Alas for you three, as you did not win the race, there is a toll to pay. Not only must you surrender all rings gathered, you will each lose a life. Now, warriors, disturbing serpents may well be described as a foolhardy pastime. Come. Really, really happy that our team got through and won the rings. I was in front and um, placing the boards down. Our tactics were to like place them uh, quite far apart but not too far that we can't reach them at the back. So then we could like cover more ground in less time. We're about neck and neck but then one of the boards was too far away so I had to kneel down to reach it and that's when the other team got ahead. And they got to the rings first but I'm glad that I didn't fall off at least like I did last time. I was with Wilja and Sala and um, I realised that you don't get much of a say in team games and Snake Pit has never been one of my favourite games so I just thought, right, this is the first game. It doesn't matter that much, although it would be nice to win and I just got on with it and we lost. Me, Dejan and Winra have just won it. I was really happy about that as I got two gold rings. We had a few little flips but we was quite in the lead so we won it. challenge may be familiar to some of you. I hope it brings back happy memories. This is Millstone Towers, and those are stone demons. They guard the archways and will destroy anyone who attempts to pass through. The only way to pass through the archway safely 
is to vanquish the demon therein. Follow the pathway marked by the dragon's eggs and pull the lever. This will release a magical potion which will turn the demons to ash. You will notice that the lever is out of your reach, so you must build the millstones to gain sufficient height. But do not disturb any of the dragon's eggs or you'll be frozen in time, albeit temporarily. Each of these stones requires three of you to manoeuvre them. So, Wenra, Welja, Dejan, you will take this path. Sarla, Linma, Kinsa, you will take that path. One final warning. Only the first team to reach their lever and destroy their demon will be able to pass. The surviving demon will then turn its wrath upon those who remain. Are you ready? Then let the challenge begin. Where's the, where's the arch? Turn it, turn it, turn it. Run, run! Is that sword? Lift it! Well done, warriors. You reached your lever first and have claimed the stone demon's treasure. Place your prize on your standards. Now, I must redeem your comrades from the demon's grasp. Kinsa, Linma, Sarla. You failed to reach the lever in time and fell under the glare of the surviving stone demon. You must exercise more caution in the vicinity of dragon's eggs, for this has cost you dearly. Each of you must now Lose a life. Come now, warriors. The next challenge will test two of you to your limits. We lost because we knocked the egg off, but at the start it was a really good race, and when we knocked the egg off, we got caught up and then the other team had an advantage and then they just about won. We won and I think we did really well and um, our tactics, well we didn't have many but were to go around the things very slowly and sprint in between each of the pillars and I think we did really well. We was going so well at the start because we got an early lead and as we were taking our second block on the first one, Sala it wasn't the millstone that knocked it, it was Sala. In all fairness to Sala again, I think he is one of them people that wants to use his own tactics. And um, that's why I really don't want to be with him in much team games. windswept and unwelcoming old tower is where two of you must venture if you are to retrieve the gold rings that lie within. 
Much magic and malevolence emanate from within its walls. Dejan, Wenra, through your skill and bravery, you are our current leaders with nine lives remaining. Both of you must enter the tower. But though the risk will be shared, so will the prize. Come. On the other side of this door, evil abounds, but so do gold rings. In order to retrieve them, however, you must risk awakening the thrall demons. These silent sentinels keep vigil over the maze of spun threads from which the gold rings hang. One of you must trace a path through the network of lines and retrieve the gold rings. You will be blindfolded and must not, at your peril, touch the threads. For should you do so, the thrall demons will waken and take you. Now, who will wear the blindfold? So be it. Wenra, though you will cross the threshold alone, Dejan will guide you from the door hatch. Are you both ready? Then steal yourselves and enter the lair of the thrall demons. Move forward a tiny bit. And again. And again. Now turn left. And keep going. And stop. Okay. Move forward. One step. Uh-huh. One step at a time. Now duck. Not that low, a bit up, uh, stop. Now forward a bit. Normal. And again. And turn right a small bit. Stop. Now turn, now keep going. And again. And again. And up. Okay. Now move forward a very small bit. There's a rope in front of you. Big step with your left foot. Good and bring your right foot up to it. Now keep going forward, 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 forward. Now reach up with your right hand. Good. I said it. That's the ring. Pull it out. Now turn right, keep turning right, keep turning right, keep turning right, stop. Now walk forward just a teeny inchy bit. And again, and again, and again, and again. Now, big, very big step, but bring your foot up, it's vertical, okay, up which, before which you foot? go. Now, vertically up. Okay, which foot? Right, first, big, and over, and bring your left, bring your left over, but don't swing, good. Now, turn right small bit. Now walk forward just a tinsy bit turn and left. again. Now turn right a bit. Now big, big, big step over. And another one over to meet you. Now walk forward a small bit. Walk forward a small bit. Keep walking. Turn left. Stop and duck. Now walk forward a tiny bit. Keep walking. Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. Up, quickly, up. Okay. Now take a big step with your right. Very big, big, excellent. Now bring your left over, but watch it, it's quite high. We're near the end. Now get, yeah, we're near. Duck, very low. You're right under a bell. Now walk forward a bit. Walk forward, walk forward, walk forward. Walk forward and up. Go up. Hand up. But watch, there's a string here. And there's down, down a bit. You should feel it. Good. Now quickly. Pull it out. And then turn right a bit. We're, we're just about to go to the gate a bit, the square. Okay. Now keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking one top right now. Turn right, keep turning right, keep turning right, keep turning right, keep turning right. A teeny, absolutely smincy wee step forward. Turn left, keep turning left, 
keep turning left. Now you're right facing it. Now a left a bit more. Now duck. And big, big step. Big, big step. You're just about there. Big another big step. Can I go up when I get through? Yep. Now quickly, up and feel in front of you. You should feel the ring. Grab them. Where? Right, right there. Yes. Well done. Well done, Wenra, Dejan. You thwarted the thrall demons and purloined their treasure. Two gold rings are your reward. Place them on your standards. Now, let us away from here. The final trial of the day awaits, and you'll all get a chance to stretch your wings. Come. After their excellent display of teamwork, Wenra and Dejan are in the lead with five rings and nine lives. Linma and Sarla trail in last place with only seven lives each. It's kind of hard when you're blindfolded because you don't have like any sense of direction of where you might be. Um, I think we got through it really well and Dejan was really good at directing me. And um, at the end, I think we, I think I did just skim the square, but it didn't ring luckily. I was guiding Wenra and I think we did really well and it was a bit harder this time than last time I played it and there were, but there was more rings to collect and we got two rings each in the end and I'm glad we won. opportunity to soar to new heights. Before you are two tall poles. In order to climb them, you must use the handholds and footholds. You will notice that there are rings to collect as you climb. But the most important ones of all are at the top. Fail to secure them and you will lose a life. Wenra, Sarla, you will race first. I have tethered you for your protection, but should you fall, the penalty will be the loss of a life. Are you ready? Then let the challenge begin. Remember, warriors, rings are important, but so are lives. Think on this as you climb. Are you ready? Then let the challenge begin. Linma, Wilja, you have both been victorious in this challenge before, but this time, someone must fail. Who will it be? Are you ready? Then let the challenge begin. Dejan, Sarla, Linma. You truly are birds of a feather. You displayed courage and vigor as you climbed and claimed the gold rings. Place them on your standards. Kinsa, Wilja, Wenra. As birds of a feather flock together, so you all fail together. Each of you must now 
lose a life. These six are seasoned warriors already, but they will sleep uneasily tonight in the knowledge that by sunset tomorrow, one of them will be leaving us. But which one? Come. Next time on Raven, opinions are divided on Demon Square. Battles are won and lost on the balance beam. And who will emerge victorious from Long Shadow Forest?